This homemade calendula ointment came about after I received a very painful splinter in my finger. I wasn't able to remove it with tweezers, so I applied this healing ointment to the affected area a few times over the course of the day, and by the afternoon, it popped out all on its own. Salves and ointments tend to be more oily and have a thinner consistency than creams or balms, which are usually more thick and waxy. Calendula is a wonderful healing herb that can be used both internally or externally to help support the immune system, heal skin infections, and promote cell repair and growth. This beneficial herb is a natural antifungal, anti-inflammatory, and contains antiseptic properties. The part of the plant that is most potent in its medicinal properties is found in the sticky green base of the flower head known botanically as the sepal and receptacle. The medicinal oils are also found, but to a lesser extent, on the petals themselves, which is why I like to use the whole dried flowers rather than just the petals that have been plucked when making calendula infused oil. Topically, calendula ointment can be used to soothe and heal a range of skin conditions such as rashes, eczema, acne, sunburn, swelling, stings, wounds, burns, scrapes, dry cracked cuticles, hangnails, scars, cuts, chapped lips, dry skin such as that on the feet or elbows, chicken pox, cold sores, and even genital herpes sores. Calendula ointment or oil can also be applied on baby's skin to naturally soothe cradle cap, nappy rash, or other skin ailments. Just be sure to choose a base oil that is safe for use on babies. This calendula ointment can also be used as a natural hand moisturizer, as a child's chest rub, applied to the skin after shaving, and may even help to lessen the appearance of varicose veins and soften scars. A calendula infused oil can be used instead of the two individual ingredients of dried calendula and olive oil when making this homemade calendula ointment, as the infused oil combines the two in one. For the full recipe for calendula infused oil, you can see my video which I've linked in the description below and cards above. Some great choices for a carrier oil when making calendula infused oil include jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil and olive oil. For this particular batch of calendula ointment, I used organic, cold pressed, extra virgin olive oil as a carrier oil. To make this ointment, start by setting a stainless steel bowl inside a pot of water and bring the water to a boil to create a double boiler. Add 4 tablespoons of beeswax pastilles, or approximately 2 tablespoons if you're using shaved, block or other forms of beeswax. As a vegan option you can replace the beeswax with the same amount of organic soy wax or candelilla wax. Add the wax to the bowl, then heat it on the stove top over medium low heat until the beeswax melts. Once the wax has melted, add in 1 cup of calendula infused oil and allow it to warm up on the stove for 30 to 60 seconds, stirring the mixture throughout until the beeswax and oil are thoroughly combined. Remove the bowl from heat and, while it's still hot, carefully pour the liquid ointment into your chosen containers. I like to use salve tins or glass jars. If the mixture starts to solidify while you're still filling the containers, Return the bowl back to the pan of boiling water and heat it on medium-low heat until it liquefies again. Once the containers are filled, set them aside with the lids off and allow the ointment to fully cool and set at room temperature. The calendula ointment will harden as it cools down and once set, it's ready to use. To use the ointment, use either clean fingers or a teaspoon to collect a small amount of the ointment and apply the cream to your skin as needed. Store the calendula ointment in a cool, dark place. This homemade ointment can last for several years, however, the potency of its medicinal properties may decrease with time and age. A higher ratio of beeswax to oil will result in a firmer ointment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe tutorial.
please let me know if you try this ointment out for yourself and what you think. I'd love to know. I wish you a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I send you all my love and I'll see you soon again. Thank you.